Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another cursor map. That is right, we are heading into Cursor 18 support. This time you get aided by the auto build. Thank you very much auto build. I do love me some auto build maps and I thought this was pretty unique. Uh, as you've noticed, this time the creeper starts nearly everywhere while you have no anti-creeper at all. But look, an old auto builder has activated because of your presence. Maybe it can make some anti-creeper for you. The anti-creeper cursor creates anti-creeper, but it requires some anti-creeper to get started, obviously. Uh, good luck and have fun. Yes, let us have some fun and take a look at the map. Here we go. We have an emitter doing 50, 90, 75, 173, very interesting number, 40, and 15. Okay, so we do have quite a wide array of emitters. We have a stash over here, I'm stashing it up. Uh, we have our totems in the center that need 400 lift deck. That is a lot. Uh, quite a lot. They normally take 50 each, so we've doubled the lift deck requirements. Uh, we have a spore launcher doing no spores. Surprise, surprise, I guess that means we got eggs. And we have one spore in 10 minutes, so I'm guessing that's going to be a bunch of eggs as well. So we definitely want to get these spore launchers down. We want to get emitters, of course. The creeper cap isn't too high, but it's, you know, of course, as you... Per the map isn't that big, so at least uh, the cap does matter. Now we start out with no creep whatsoever. This one little green arm mother. So we definitely want to get to that so we can start clearing out the center a little bit. And we definitely want to get to the spore launchers themselves as well. So I think, I think we're going to start sort of take out the bottom. Maybe take out like this, like this area, and then take out the top, because I want to get to the, both spore launchers relatively quickly. And the green R itself. Uh, it's going to take about 40 seconds to get our creep, so I'm going to turn it up to four times speed, just for a mo. And then uh, I'm also going to turn on the map indicator. So there we go. Uh, the reason it's taking so long is we have no AC, but we need this blue light to go into here to go into one of these, which have not yet been built. So yeah, let's uh, let's get them done. The oh, actually, it takes about a minute, really? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, I've only just tested this very, very start just to see how it is. And it is uh, problematic. Not problematic. It's not like bad or anything. It's just we need to do as little as possible in the beginning. Uh, as odd as that is to say, right? As little as possible. Now, the reason I say as little as possible is because look at our deficit. Our deficit is so freaking big. There's nothing we can do, right? We literally just have deficit on top of deficit. So our goal is to get as much power while building as little as possible. So this eco, super, oh no, we got a nullifier and a pylon. Oh, geez. That's gonna slow our miner down, right? Uh, so that's the big key, is the big key is we need to get as much area while building as little as possible, because the more we build, obviously, the more power we're using. The more power we're using, the more we're in a deficit. It's, it's a terrible, terrible cycle. Um, that being said, we do have an urn port, and that is ramping up. I want to get all the eco, though. These trees will generate a good amount of energy for us. Plus, the miner is now done, which is good. Uh, what is nice... I guess we'll save the nullifier because it'll just keep being rebuilt anyway. Uh, so it's just a waste of power if we let it die. So I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Um, one thing to note, though, is once all the sprayers are built and things like that, then they don't need power anymore. So that's one big key thing for us is we need power, but at the same time, we also just need to sort of outlast our initial build phase. And then we'll have power. So it kind of works out. It's like a double-edged sword just need to get through this beginning portion then we'll have power then we can build things then we can move our butt because our butt better be moving because you know we got places to be we got creep to kill ac to spread it's gonna be Ooh, we got a tower there Ooh, but we did get all of our sprayers online huge 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 okay our deficit is going to be shrinking now which is good uh and you know unfortunately we are still building some things we got a bertha being built and such and such and such that's okay that's okay because yeah we're just we're just moving along singing our song taking out the creep that's right uh and it feels pretty good i think i think i'm gonna start moving out this is a very very expensive set uh because now we're in phase two phase two of the start uh is while we do want to conserve how much power we're generating uh one thing to note is that 
things are using ammo, of course. So if we can get away from majority of the things using ammo, then we're going to save on energy. How, how funny is that? You know? uh, actually, now building things is probably more energy efficient than like three or four things firing. So that's our goal now. Our goal is to just move on out. We're going to the south first. Again, I want that green R. Uh, this is the weakest emitter as well, so it's sort of like set up for that, I suppose. Uh, we're going to try and follow the emitters for the most part, and we may take one or two emitters out of order. But for the most part, we want to follow the emitters, I think. Uh, maybe. Maybe. You know, sometimes you want to follow the emitters. A central suggestion. Uh, I mean, it's not a suggestion. Maybe it's kind of an unwritten suggestion. It's like, hey, this one's weaker. Go for this one next. But that could be a trick. Maybe it's a trap. Uh, I don't know. All I know is we already have three eggs on the map, and I don't like it. I don't like eggs. Oh, eggs. You're always going to be the problem, child. Creeper world. Oh, boy. But that, again, our goal is now just to move our butts. We want to get this turned off because even though we're at creeper cap, it is still producing creep uh, because we have AC pushing everywhere. You know, that AC pushing everywhere essentially means that... Oh, no. Or the Emmerich, uh, I'd rather have this cannon than an Emmerich, honestly. Uh, so I guess that does make sense. Ooh, we actually made it across the little absorber terrain gap, which ooh, leads to a nullifier. You don't say, you don't say. I will take it. That's a nice, see, nice nullifiers. Not all cursor maps have nice nullifiers. It's very important to have a nice nullifier. We're still in a deficit, of course. Uh, our deficit is not... Ooh, no, no, no. Uh, our deficit is actually kind of kind of getting out. We're kind of kind of out. We're not 100% out. But we're... Oh, really? That egg literally popped on the nullifier. That is the worst possible thing that could have actually happened. Uh -oh. Going to the emitter bouncing on the ground on the nullifier and popping there instead of actually going to the emitter. That is, I feel that is cheating. That should not be allowed. Because, uh, you know, that, that turns a good run into a... Rebuild this nullifier. Very sad. Very sad. Um, thankfully, I don't think there's any more eggs over here, so I'm not really kind of super worried. It looks like the, the towers themselves are actually doing pretty good. So we can, we can start to expand. Hopefully, hopefully, there, okay, there's that, I swear, this bounces, like, what, let's watch this, thing. where is it going, it's good, it's, okay, okay, Ooh. okay, good, we got the cannon, the cannon is alive, it'll be able to survive, and we save the mother, uh, let's just move it down, down, this stash, I think, will just die on its own once we sort of cut it off from all the other creep, which is sort of why I'm sort of just moving down versus going towards it, you know, stashes, they're, they're, they're great. They're fun. Kind of. If you like them. Uh, I, I support the stash. It has uses. Uh, it's great when it's in mesh. A stash in mesh is very, very nice. Uh, without the mesh, it's, it's not as, as viable, I would say. But it's not terrible. Uh, it's just not as important, you know? Because it doesn't fill up as fast. Uh, while, since we're at creeper cap, it's not filling up nearly as well either. So it's sort of one of those things where it's just, well, just it just isn't getting the proper treatment that it deserves. So poor stash. Uh, we just need to keep our units flowing. Uh, hopefully we can get some more because definitely need some more. Ooh, another order there. Yes, please. Ooh, we're even cutting this in half, which is actually very good for us. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and save these two more tears. Okay, we're gonna try and save this one more tear. Uh, this side is actually dying off. Maybe if we can connect it up. No, 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 no. Let this mortar live. Uh, because we have two being built on the left, and if those two can get built, then uh, they will provide some great support. Nope. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's do this. Save you again. Again, we're just up for support. It will start building the top side very, very soon. This one has no freaking health. I want to leave. I, I want the tops to be built. Those top two are going to be huge. I want this one to be built. That's going to be huge. I want some cannon. Oh, there's a cannon. Nice. Okay. Definitely want some cannons. There's a cannon. Double nice. Okay. This, this will solve the universe. 
There we go. There we go. Everything coming up our side. Uh, let's, let's make sure we have one health. Oh, you have one health. No, 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 no. Good. Okay, we have made it. And let's get our first spore launcher out of the freaking way, please. No, just say no to spores. Just say no to spores. Oh, we got a sniper. A sniper. No. No sniper. <laughs> Oh, but we do have triple mortars. Okay. I think we have a mortar cannon up here. Nice. Triple mortar and mortar cannon? I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, don't really care about the corner with the green eye right now. I mean, it's, it's nice to have, but we don't really care. I wanted to get down here to start collecting it, but just so you are aware, the center towers, uh, which I believe I pointed out, require a hundred lift deck each. We currently have five green eye crystals. So... Yeah, it's it's not very pretty in terms of the amount of lift up that we're going to be generating. So it's gonna, that, I think, is just going to take a certain amount of time. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop it. It's just going to be what it is. Uh, we just need to get these eggs taken care of. And it looks like we have enough mortars that the... Oh, and there's the nullifier. Ooh, baby, there we go. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get this nullifier. Let's get this... Uh, spore launcher done. Let's also grab this emitter because we're here. Hopefully, we can grab it, and then we'll go up to the top to get the other. Ooh, 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 more, more. Do it. You live. You lived through the egg explosion, my friend. Yay! Uh, love it, love it, love it. Because if this turns on, oh, it did it. Ooh, and we even have some uh, light. The beacon has turned on. Glorious, glorious. And there's the nullifier. Yes, 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 yes. Good, 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 good. Uh, I know we lost the tower there. It's perfectly fine. We got the nullifier. We got a couple more eggs to get through. Uh, but hopefully we can turn on a couple of cannons, like up here, maybe another mortar or two. And there's a mortar, so we're, we're getting those mortar for sure. Uh, get these eggs taken care of. Get out of here. I see you, egg. Any egg is a bad egg. In Crete. Unfortunately, there's no good eggs in Crete. Unless you're Crete. I guess if you're playing as the Crete, then all eggs are good eggs. Wow, we turned on two beacons without us doing anything. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, I don't want to really go to the center, though. Uh, look at all the eggs in the center. <laughs> I want to turn off the eggs before we go to the center, and once we turn off the eggs, then maybe we just take out the center. Uh, but until then, yeah, I think it's a pretty bad idea to go through those eggs. Uh, let's get this. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's good. We had we had like our final egg pop over there, which is good. Uh, so let's get our units going. Let's get our units flowing, and hopefully take out this emitter. Right? I want to get this emitter out. Uh, we're still at Creeper Cap, which is really, really nice. It's great for pushing. Uh, the top side to the Spore Launcher, I don't think has that much creep generation, so I'd rather take this out first. Uh, plus, this opens up a nice path to the end. So, my goal for the end is to sort of hop along these tops down there. I had to move my mouse, which is a terrible idea. Never, never want to do that uh, in a cursor map. Uh, hop along the tops. Oh, please, please, please. Give me some units. Give me units! Yes, mortar right there. Very good. Units. Units. Oh, double mortar going down. Yeah, we got three more mortars. Sweet. Hold you. Hold you. Center can really care as long as these mortars come online. Ooh, the emerald is also almost done in the south. With this emerald being done in the south, that should help power flow substantially as well. All right, we're almost to the emitter. So I'm hoping we're going to get some units on this, this top level here. This is, you know, again, tops are usually your friend, right? The high ground is the good ground. So we, yeah, there's a mortar there. Good. I'm hoping to see, ooh, a nullifier there. You know what? I'll just take it. I'll take it. I was hoping for a cannon. We got a nullifier. Done. Easy days. No questions asked. Let's go. There's 64 eggs on this map. We need to hurry our butt to turn off that other spore launcher. Uh, yeah. Ooh, those eggs be popping, too. Now, uh, we're only at 20 green R as well. Look at that. Uh, so, so a little green R. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm not perfectly fine with that. I mean, there's nothing we can do. As long as our beacons don't die, 
that's all that matters to me, right? Because once our beacons die, that's just wasted green iron. Uh, there we go. We're going to have to stay down here just for a moment to pop these eggs, because they're here and they're causing us some problems, of course. Uh, and then we can move on, right? I don't want this nullifier to go down. I will try and clear the pat the area right around the emitter, just in case there's a couple towers to help. But realistically, our goal will be to move to the top side. So let's just get these last couple of eggs. Looks like it might just be that last one now. Move our butt, get this thing popped. Please, thank you, thank you. Ooh, actually, maybe we'll try and take that high ground. Jeez, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm so hopeful for high grounds, I'm not gonna lie. And this is actually moving pretty nicely. Again, we're at Creeper Cap. So moving into the, the deepest of the creepest area with Creeper Cap on our side is kind of nice. Now, I don't think that Creeper Cap will last forever, of course. Uh, I think we're getting to the point where it might be problematic. There we go. We're going to get a couple units here. Like, we're going to get... I mean, we're definitely going to believe in these two units. I don't think either of them is going down. Yes. Yes. Give me a cannon. Give me a mortar. And let me take this high ground, please. Oh, the cannon. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The cannon is exactly what you need when you want to do a push. Uh, it's going to give us an M-Rift. Maybe we'll try and take this high ground and call it at that. Uh, I don't know. Another cannon looks pretty good to me, though. An m going down. Looks pretty... Oh, multiple cannons. Oh, this is... This is the spot. See, this is a good holding spot where we can leave and we know that our units are going to be able to hold and not sort of fall. That's the key. I, I don't want to leave an area and just be like, oh, yeah, we left and the nullifier died because of XYZ. You know? So that's kind of... Uh, the big problem. I don't even know where the next beacon is, but that's okay. As long as it's not being destroyed, uh, that really is all that matters to me. Uh, let's see. Does this entire top area get some lovin', or is it just there? Get in the mortar. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Again, right now, this might be where we leave it, just with this M-Rift. Uh, I just want to see if there's any cool stuff on the tops here. Maybe the top of the hill as well. Oh, another egg popped in the center, which is perfectly fine. Again, as long as it's not destroying beacons, let it, let it pop. Let it pop. Let's get this top. Ooh, yeah, we got a couple more mortars going down. There's uh, two up here. That would be kind of nice if those can get built as well. Uh, we'll try and get this one, and then we'll move into the top zone. So, ooh. Love it. Yeah, this is nice. This is, this is a nice little holding set. And if anything gets destroyed, so be it. You know, so be it. It gets destroyed. It's not the end of the world for us. We're not going to lose that much ground. But having this whole set is just perfect. Uh, so, we'll make sure this is stable-ish. And then we'll move on from there. So I think this is our stability. Uh, I don't see anything else really going down unless we sort of move forward. And I don't want to go for the last emitter yet. I think we can gain some more power by going elsewhere. Plus, uh, you know, there's an urn here. There's this. I want to get rid of these eggs. We're up to 79 freaking eggs. I, oh, jeez. Maybe I waited too long on the eggs. Oh, mama. Yeah, let's move our butt uh, and sort of go for this egg launcher. All right, so there's uh, there's some good stuff coming our way. Uh, we're going to get the turp. We have two more, three mortars going down, plus the fourth that's already built. So yeah, we, we have some units. This is definitely a good area to be. <laughs> you want to move with your units. You want to move with your units. So, yeah, so let's push this in, try and get this urn as well, of course, uh, and see if we can find any more. There might be one on the bottom side if we take that out. It's an M-Rift. Okay, it's not a unit, but it's effectively good for business. Uh, I do find it funny that there's so many missile launchers, but there's only one... Oh, no. Sniper! Sniper, no, 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 no. You are... You are bad for business. Uh, business... Oh, okay. You are good for business. I probably should let the sniper die. Oh, but there's a mortar there. Okay, we're okay. We're getting some units. I'm, like, super torn. Yeah, let's let the sniper die just a little. I'm sorry, sniper. Oh, you didn't die. You actually live, Sniper. I don't know how, but you know what? 
Let's get this other quarter, hopefully. Oh, this is so bad. This is like so many eggs that are gonna be popped. Uh, if we can get this mortar and the mortar up top stays alive, I think we're good. Wow. I thought that was going to be the worst sniper ever. It turned out to be the Sniper of Kings. It's blowing them up just at the right rate of speed. Holy moly. I'm so used to earn snipers, I can like just destroy an entire area at like once, right? There's our nullifier. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll get this nullifier. Let's see if we can, while that nullifier is nullifying, let's see if we can get this urn. Don't know what that's for. I don't know if that's going to go into our urn port, which we do have, but we can't see in the top left. Like, we can't see what's in it. Uh, I'm assuming it's energy, build speed, and something else. Because uh, it's, like, the left side. So that's energy, that's build speed. I think that's fire rate. It's right on the left, range on the right, I believe. Maybe it's range, though. It's one of the two. But there's our there's our nullification. We got a nullifier. Beautiful. And now we need to take out the swirl. Uh, so where did the urn go? Looking at the mini-map. Going over. Ooh, Bertha. Ooh, earning the Bertha. Oh, that would have been nice early. Look at that triple shot. Boom. Okay. Could have used that earlier. Probably should have came up here earlier. Holy moly. But that's okay, that's okay. We're still storing up our green R, which is the key. The key is to store up this green R, because again, we need four freaking hundred of it. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, some units? I will take some units. Let's get to the eggy zone. Everybody. Oh! Whoa! Another cannon! Double cannon mortar! What? That's like the kindest that Tricky has been to us this entire map. Uh, okay, not this entire map. It's pretty kind. It's pretty kind for <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so this is this is a super squad right here. I love me some super. Oh, there's a sniper. And another mortar. Yeah, okay. Okay. I see what you're doing there. We're 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 good. Uh, one thing to note is we are officially under creeper cap. Uh, we are at 3.4. It is staying at 3.4. So that's kind of actually pretty important it means that uh, turning off these eggs is actually even more important because now they're officially making creep uh so you know that's bad for business and yeah we're officially on the winning side so to speak so victory for us i guess the next question is do we go to the center or do we go for the emitters i don't know right because we're, we're doing we're doing good we need to get our butt over here Wanted to get those mortars taken care of. Tricky's been very good with these nullifiers, so I'm assuming we'll be able to find it relatively soon. Ooh, there's a nice mortar. Uh, and where there are more? So there are. Nullifiers? Yes. Maybe the nullifiers in this corner? Yeah, it is. Okay. Don't care about the don't care about the mortar. Only care about the nullifier. Let's go. No more eggs, please. Oh, oh, oh. The only key thing is I need to make sure no beacon, no harm can come to my beacons. Again, I don't care about anything else, but no harm can come to the beacons. Because again, they take the glorious green iron, which we do not have that much of. So as long as the beacon survives, that's all that I care about. Uh, let's see. There we go. Take that out. Get this nullifier on. Get these eggs destroyed. And then and then we're we're in the home stretch, right? I mean that area to the south is still holding quite nicely, right? No way that was gonna hold, but we do know there's a mortar there, which is good, because now that those eggs are gone, we can grab some extra mortars. Gorgeous extra mortar victory. There's one in this corner as well. Uh, as Tricky was doing, I think, I'm assuming there's going to be one in every corner up here, so let's just check our corners and get them going. Yeah, there we go. One in that corner, one down below. Is there one in the top? One over here? Okay. No? I think it's near enough. Yeah, it's probably, like, all the way up. Yeah, yeah there we go. See? Tricky likes the corners. So that's another note, is certain map makers will do, like, corners and things like that. It's not just high grounds, it's high ground corners. So, they will also grab this one, and I'll start building that up. I guess we can head towards this. Uh, we can also just go for the big emitter, right? We could go for the big emitter. We could go for the center. 
Again, I'm not super worried about the center uh, until we have plenty of Rena or uh, Lift Deck. So the center is just sort of a holding spot. Now, granted, don't get me wrong. I guess if we uh, take out all the darkness, that'd be nice. If we, uh, what else? I guess. Like, what else do we really care about over there? I mean, other, I mean, of course, taking out the eggs would be good, but we're so far under Creeper Cap now that I don't think it really matters. It's not like we would pop all the eggs and suddenly be at, like, five Creeper Cap. And if we're at five Creeper Cap, then we can go for this very easily, right? Because uh, we can easily just destroy our way there. Ooh, is there a unit up top here? Unit? Yeah, we want, we want extra units. We want to defend. Jeez. Again, an egg just popped in the center. Good. Which is actually good, because doing it this way is kind of just eliminating eggs, like, almost naturally. As weird as it is to say. And I, you know, I think I think we're making the swap. I think we're going to the bottom. You know, we're, we're making slow progress up there, but we're really making slow progress to no major goal, right? I mean, our major goal is just taking out the top. But if we take out the bottom in the exact same way, then we're making progress literally to the top of it, right? So, let's see what we can do now. Our goal is to hug the wall and hug the high grounds. So wall and high grounds are the key. So I want us to cut off this, cut off to the wall. Any towers we can make are just good towers. Uh, as you can see, we already made two orders, which is great. Let that do the thing. That Bertha doing work, too. So keep this AC going. Ooh, there's a breeding zone in that... Ooh bottom point right there. There's a breeding zone. So that we need to take care of as well. So even more reason to take this side out because breeding zone is bad for business. And hopefully there's like 50 units on top here. Uh, this was covered at the start again, remember? Uh, looks like we get two, three, three. Okay, three more. So I'll take it. I would like like seven or eight more. But, you know, Beggars can't be choosers, and right now I am very much begging for a more for anything. Uh, there we go, there we go. Well, we are going to have breeding time in just a few seconds. It's going to be problematic. Uh, but I am going to focus on getting this one mortar up. Yeah, that breeding is happening. So let's just, let's just hang with our mortar. Let it go. Let the AC sort of spread, because once we take out this breeding zone, I think this bottom course, like, area will be substantially safer. Because, as you can see, it's sort of the creep flowing from both directions. So we definitely want to take this out. I definitely don't want you to die. I want to have this power supply, like this power line on the bottom is actually perfect. Don't really care about the tops as much. It's breeding again. We were so close. back let's see can we get this this cycle come on we have four seconds and i think we got this little breeding zone okay i think we got it which is awesome because now taking this breeding zone it's it doesn't seem like it's much but just having the wave come from behind, I think, has re was really hindering us, right? So now by taking that, no more wave from behind. It's going to allow us to build all these towers and actually get into the corner. Which, again, I hope there's like 50 freaking mortars up here, right? I mean, this is literally perfect mortar build. Uh, that's all we really care about is just raining down uh, piping hot creeper death. Something like that? Get out of there, corner. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. You're still... Yeah, this is surviving. We have a great set. We have an M-Rift going down. We have mortars coming into place. We have all the high grounds surrounding this unit. And nothing coming from behind. As you can see, the AC is just starting to actually push it back. Oh, you're even pushing back over here. Yeah, I think, I think we've done it. I think we've established our dominance. So let's keep moving in. Maybe we'll get some more units on the lower ground. Oh yeah, so I'll just lock that, just like that. Uh, and again, as we move out this way, the best part is just the fact that, oh, that was gorgeous. Okay, do we get any units? 
No units in this entire area? What? What is that? Where? Okay, where? It, oh, there's the nullifier. Oh, beautiful. We got the nullifier. All right. And look at the mortars raining down. I mean, even though that's the big emitter, it can't stay. It can't, it can't really do anything. Um, I think... I guess the question is from here. Do we work towards the center or work towards the top? I think we're working towards the center. Because I think the top will sort of just fall. Just from all the AC that's on the map and all the units that are there. Uh, there we go. We've taken out this emitter. Oh, yeah. Plus the, the birth, of course. Uh, ooh, uh, okay. We need to stay on this nullifier, though. As you can see, stay on the nullifier, period. I'm not going to move it. I want to see what's under the nullifier. Oh, there we go. Good, good, good. Let's just make sure no eggs will be popping and destroying us. Uh, no. Okay, eggs taken care of over there. Let's finally get this center area sorted, right? Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, you had your fun. Where is our... I mean, I'm surprised we didn't have anything else uh, for... Oh, okay. There's our beacon. So now we know our beacon. Okay, so this beacon will lead to the nullification of the center, which is good. And as you can see, this is this that emitter. I mean, it's doing fine. You know, just to sort of hinder it some more, let's just do something. Sorry. I do want to go to the center, but if we can sort of connect this up, that'll just be more damages. So... More damages that we don't have to worry about, too. Right? It's, it's just victory. It's just victory. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna plant right here. Find the beacon and plant on our beacon. So where are you, beacon? You are down here somewhere. Right there. Okay, so now we live on this beacon. Uh, not gonna let it die because again, we need all the lift deck we can handle. Literally. Like that's not even a joke. So, there's enough eggs down there that's going to cause us some problems, but that's okay. You know, as long as we, as long as the eggs don't all pop at once and we can keep this beacon alive, then it's basically all as well, right? I mean, we just have to get through these, uh, through these eggs. And look at the creep. Like, you can see the top, because we took the top of the hill, uh, everything is just starting to die. Uh, it's being pushed back. Like, look at that. We, we're getting more and more units. We're now going to get a double cannon, uh, a double mortar cannon, I should say, which is quite nice of you. It's going to be a super fan, super fan. Uh, and yeah, we're we're soon on the way. There's 33 eggs left now. A bunch of those are at the uh, last emitter as well, so they're not all on the left side. Uh, I guess I can just turn the speed at this point, so I'm going to do it to two times speed. I'm doing it in the pause because... I don't want to move from this freaking beacon right now. Uh, so, beacon it up. And let's just let things flow. There we go. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that there's uh, breeding grounds, too. There's AC breeding grounds in the center. Would have been nice to have earlier, but not necessarily that useful. Again, we, would, we basically would have to have done this earlier. Which, I mean... I feel like we did pretty good work because now once we once we get this, we're gonna have our nullification, uh, like at one moment, which is kind of nice. So we're working on that nullification. Uh, we will get the active totems as well. We will be doing that. Uh, but as you notice, our lift deck is completely out. That's the problem that we currently have. Is our lift deck is completely out. There's nothing we can do. I'm going to move over here. I think we can move and save this pylon too now. Yeah, there's only a few eggs remaining. Uh, and that will lead us to the nullifier. Yeah, there's the nullifier. Let's just do it like that. Save the nullifier. Ooh, I did not, no, I did not save the nullifier. No. Save the nullifier, please. And I think that's the last eggs in the center. And look at that. Yeah, so you look at that uh, emitter, right? That emitter just got turned off. This dark tower basically just got turned off. 
So I, I feel like that went pretty well. Well, let's save this. Clear this. Clear out the world. Huzzah! So all that's left is to get back to the end. Uh, we'll see how we do, but because uh, we have to activate the totems, we've got to activate the totems. Uh, yeah, there was only the three beacons, so you couldn't have come anywhere else. We only need 22 and 21 lift deck left, so let's just speed that up to maximum. But this has been Cursor 18 Support. Definitely a, a fun way to go about it. Uh, definitely felt a, Oh, there's a lot of units there. Look at that. That's a nice little set to, I guess, attack the emitter at. So I guess you were supposed to kind of supposed to come down and up. But I like coming this way. I thought it worked really, really well. Um, how many left? Still need 22. Really? Uh, Greener? Did Greenar just stop spawning? Does Greenar only spawn on this map? Oh, there, there we go. 16. Oh my gosh. There we go. Was something else eating up the Greenar? Or Lift Deck? Was there another beacon that I missed? I don't know. I can't select it. That was weird. Boop, boop, boop. Dark Tower. 10 left. Oh my god. Taken a fair bit of time. And ten nine. Come on, you crystal. You can do it. Woo. Now when one crystal comes, it's about Okay. So it's about three each. So each crystal is about twelve. So we need three more. Oh no. Oh my crystal, you can do it. Um I believe in you. No, 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 no. All right, all right. We're down to three, four, and four, four. Yep. Next one will be done one, one, one. So done one, one, one is coming up next. Definitely a fan. Wow. I did not think it was going to take this long to get the uh, the crystals to spawn. I do want to rift jump away, but once you rift jump, it sort of removes everything. So I do apologize. I do apologize. Uh, but a crystal will spawn. I'm willing it into existence. Come on, Green Arm Mother. You're so good. You're so you're the best. You're you're a champion. You're you're my hero. You're you you do it. There we go. One more down. One more to go. Holy moly. There's our first totem. Only have two left. And luckily, at least, the AC is... There we go. We did it. That was so weird. The two crystals came out so fast. There we go. That is Cursor 18. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, how did we do? Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Had a blast. Uh, Totem-wise, uh, we did quite good totem. Could be a little bit better. I don't know if it's down to luck. Apparently someone did it in 4 minutes and 50 seconds. I do not believe it. It's real. Don't know how you would do it, though. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, felt pretty good. Pretty good overall. Uh, there we go. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.